Welcome to Tech Savvy. My name is Lee Newman and I am the Executive Director of the Campus Operations for the LaGrange Campus at West Georgia Tech. And we have lots of things going on out there. Of course, we continue with the construction project for the Think Academy. And that is just, it's amazing how fast that is going. So we're looking forward to getting things up and running soon and hopefully the classes will be starting in the fall. For more information about that, you can certainly give us a call out at the, the college or go to our website at www.westgatech.edu. Today we have a very special guest star. She is the goal nominee for the college for West Georgia Tech, but she's also the LaGrange nominee. So we're very proud of our LaGrange girl who, well she's actually Sonoa girl, but <laughs> she goes to school on the LaGrange campus and she competed with quite a few other candidates from other programs and other campuses and she won out for the representative for our, our school, West Georgia Tech, and she's going to represent us at a regional level competition and then she will go to state and up there you can win a car. That's right. Yeah, I mean, very impressive <laughs> situation. But the, but if before we get into the questions and everything, this is very important. It's a marketing type process because we want the world to see that we are not second rate citizens. We are in it for, to win it and we are in it to make, make um, money and be successful and professional. And we want to put our best foot forward so we can spread the news. So. Ashley Wilson. <laughs> she, this is our um, representative and she's a radiology student. And Ashley, tell us a little bit about you, your background, you know, tell us what's what you've been doing and All right. Well, um, I'm 26 and I started um, attending West Georgia Tech in 2011. Um, I worked in the dental field as a hygiene assistant for 3 years before that. I am married to a firefighter for Coweta County, and I have a three-year-old little boy. What's his name? George. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fun. Yes, he's he's a mess. <laughs> well, that's a full. I mean, that's your hands are full with things going on. That's right. Constantly going on, and here you're a full-time student. Mm-hmm. So tell us, uh, why'd you pick radiology? Why well, took dental X-rays when I was a hygiene assistant, and I really enjoyed that I really enjoyed the technology and I thought that medical imaging would be something like that. It's not, okay. <laughs> but I do enjoy it and right. um, it, is, it is a passion of mine. Well, you're definitely in the medical profession, so because if you've been the hygienist, you've been spending some time in some mouths, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but tell us um, why West Georgia Tech, why LaGrange well, Campus? I, I had um, had previous interaction with a technical school in Athens and then I also after that tried going to a private college in North Georgia and having had the two different experiences I knew that technical school was the best fit for me. Mm -hmm. So I started my core classes at the Noonan campus and then when it came time for me to apply for the radiology program I just happened to call the LaGrange campus and got in touch with Miss Wanda Barbie. Mm -hmm. And she's what made me want to go. She's awesome. She's been she's on here before and she 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 talks the talk, walks the walk, and she can flat she's had very successful mm -hmm. students graduate and go on to very highly, highly um, sought after jobs. That's right. And a lot of the people that we work with of course, went to West Georgia Tech mm -hmm. through her program. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you went for a year to get your core? I took some time off to have my son, so it took me about uh, a year and a half, almost two years. To, to go get to your go core. core. And you got all that, was it the Noonan campus, the, mm -hmm. the new one? Yes. Well, no, not the new one. It was the old campus. Right. I didn't right. get to see the, the new campus. You didn't get to see the new <laughs> campus. Well, it's beautiful. But then when you had to make... We, we have radiology that we're the only campus that has the radiology 
program. The, La the LaGrange and the Douglasville. Douglasville has campus. radiology too. Mm -hmm. well, we're certainly glad you decided to come to I LaGrange. I am too. I am too. Um, so you said you had some experience in with the university system or the private college mm -hmm. and you said that you didn't think that that was your best fit. I struggled. Uh, it was very fast paced. I was we, one student out of a hundred in the classroom. I felt very overlooked and I struggled a little bit with uh, college algebra and I could not get the help that I needed there and uh, ended up leaving and <clears throat> kind of gave up on becoming a college graduate mm -hmm. and then after um, I got out of the dental field I thought you know it's time to have a degree in something. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I decided that technical school was the way to go because I didn't want to waste any. I knew what I wanted to do and I didn't want to waste any time, you know, doing something that I, I, I wanted to get right out of school and go to work doing what I had mm -hmm. gone to school for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of wasting your time doing all these other things. Mm -hmm. Um, do, you, do you see the difference or did you recognize the difference between the hands-on training and the classroom training? Absolutely. Everything that we learn in the classroom, we go out the very next day and do in clinic. And we are treating patients um, every day, you know, we're performing exams on patients. So when we get out of school and we go try to find a job, we've got experience for two years doing what we're trying to find a job mm -hmm. a job in and then there's different areas also that we've at least gotten to see uh, not just general x-ray but CT and MRI and mammography we've mm -hmm. you know gotten to spend some time in all of those departments well so you when you say clinicals do you where do you go what we have three clinic sites here in LaGrange and then we have two in Columbus we go to two major hospitals one of which being West Georgia Health, mm -hmm. and uh, then we have two orthopedic clinics that we go to, <clears throat> and uh, we go to Clark Holder Clinic. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a, uh, and you get to see some all kinds of things. We there. get to see a little bit of everything, and so you really get to find your niche. And I got to spend some time at the Women's Center mm -hmm. here in Lagrange, mm -hmm. and that's when I decided that when I graduate, I will specialize in mammography. Great. So. Great, because it saves lives. Absolutely. It's amazing. It and is. people need to really take advantage of that technology mm -hmm. because it, it, and th every year it's even more, you know, advanced. Absolutely. And it's so much easier. It's not like it used to be. It's right. not how my mother and my grandmother have told me the awful stories about how uncomfortable it is. It's so much easier. It's gotten now. a whole, and it's like digital. Now, okay. as compared to, I guess, just regular x-rays, mm -hmm. I don't know the difference, but I know that that makes it a lot, it's simpler, it's faster, and it's certainly not uncomfortable right. as it used to be. Right. So, Well, that's exciting that you've decided to go into that area because sometimes, you know, it takes us a little while to figure out what specific area you want to go into. What are some other areas that are optional that you could, if you didn't go into mammography, what, have you, what else would you... There's Possibly so busy. many different things. There's nuclear medicine, there's uh, interventional radiology, there's the heart cath lab um, mm -hmm. at the hospital, which we get to see a little bit of that. Um, there's so many things, like I said, CT and MRI. They're doing PET scans now um, mm -hmm. at the hospital. Um, there's just so many different things. There's the orthopedic clinics where you're just, you know, taking x-rays on the limbs primarily and mm -hmm. things like that. And backs. Mm -hmm. Well that's, I'm, you sound passionate about it. That's the, that is the key to I feel very that. fortunate to have found what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be good at it, I can Thank tell, because you. Cause you seem to know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. All right, the, ma the another very important reason for having you here is because of your Goal Award being nominated for our school, our whole college, right. as goal. Tell me what goal stands for. D the Georgia Occupational Award of Leadership. That's impressive. It is impressive. It's that big shoes to fill. It <laughs> is. And you've got you've got your hands full, and, and I mean, but you had to go through some very very serious competition to get to this point, and mm -hmm. it's not going to get any easier. I don't no, want to tell not. you otherwise. <laughs> I don't want to tell you otherwise. 
Um, you had questions. It was a local um, competition with other fellow students. What was a question that they had? Tell me your favorite question. One of the f my favorite questions was, uh, if someone came up to you and said that uh, technical school students are not as smart as university students, what would you say to that? And um, so, of course, I was a little bit taken aback, like, how am I supposed to answer that? Because I was so very much like, well, that's not true, you know? Um, when I went, when I got into the program, I had a 4.0 GPA. I don't think it is as, you know, you're not smart enough to go to a university or anything like that. I think it's that you're looking for a different experience. Mm -hmm. You don't just want to be a number out of a hundred and something people in a classroom. Mm -hmm. I think for me, my experience has been that I really am somebody to the people that I come into contact with. Mm -hmm. I'm somebody to my instructors and they care about me and I get to know them and um, it's just a much more personal experience. That's important. And that's what I wanted. Right, right. And it's, big universities are so big and you're just a number and of course, I mean, I graduated from Georgia, my girls graduated from Georgia, but you find your little niche, so there's, mm -hmm. there's not that, I mean, it, it works out. Right. But like you said, you wanted to get in and start working. I mean, you wanted right. to be doing something valuable right. to start off with and not wasting your time. And mm -hmm. that's the case. I mean, day one, first day of classes, you're into it. That's absolutely right. And that's, I really feel like what people are looking for, especially in the medical field, they want you to have experience doing what you're doing. They don't want to have to take the time to train you. Train you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what, that's what employers are looking for these days. That's exactly right. I think it's in maybe three or four years they're saying 60 to 75 percent of all jobs are going to require training after high school. Mm -hmm. They got it and then ours is experience so we, right. we teach experience. We are done with our first little block and we'll take a break and then we'll come back and we'll talk more about this competition and questions that are, you're having to answer <laughs> and um, We'll get into deep, more details on that, so we'll be right back. Congratulations, you're in college. It's a great feeling to be on your way to your new career. But guess what? Getting into college is the easy part. You have to finish college to get the degree. Did you know that fewer than one in 10 students will finish their associate's degree in two years? Some students take up to eight years to finish a degree, and many don't finish at all. When you go fast to the finish, you can complete your degree quickly, saving you time and money. Time is the enemy when you're in school. The longer you stay in school, the more likely that life will get in the way. And that could cause you to slow down or leave school early. Getting your college degree is the goal. The faster you complete your courses, the faster you can get that degree and move on to your career. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. Meet with your advisor to map out your plan to finish on time. Know which classes to take. Take a full course load if possible. And if you knock out your core classes early, your odds of graduating will go up big time. Your college has many options to help you get there faster. Don't get left behind. Meet with your advisor. Learn your graduation requirements. Schedule your core classes first. Take a full course load and take advantage of all the course options. By 2020, 66% of U.S. jobs will require a career certificate or college degree. Go fast to the finish and complete your degree on time. This message is brought to you by the Technical College System of Georgia. Welcome back to Tech Savvy. We have Ashley Wilson here, our gold nominee for West Georgia Tech. And she's telling us a lot about the competition. She's she definitely is the star student at this case because she is she she knows the benefits of technical college and going in a technical education. And we were talking about questions that she's been asked and and we're going to go on and find out more. You said that, you know, the question about the difference between uh, technical 
college student and a university college student and the, is smarter. That's so ridiculous. It is. It, it's just the it's just the type of person you know mm -hmm. and like you say you get your personal attention you get one on one help all the time mm -hmm. as you need it. What about customer service at West Georgia Tech? Is it have you been satisfied with that? Absolutely. That that's never been an issue. Um, I'm not currently on financial aid right now, but when I was the first couple of years mm -hmm. I was attending, that was uh, always a breeze to have to deal with. Because that is such a mess. Um, it, it financial can aid. Be. It can all be. the forms and all the rules and the regulations and everything, but we've got such a great staff in that area that mm -hmm. really knows what's available. That's right. And, and helps you through that. Um, would you I bet they'll ask a question if they hadn't already about recommend, recommending technical education. Could you, mm -hmm. what if somebody's considering it and can't decide what they want to do or where they want to go, what would you tell them? Well, I think having had the experience of going to the private college and living on campus and being there for a couple of semesters, I know how different the feel is on a college campus and on a technical school campus. and. It's just, especially if you're the type of person that you have figured out what you want to do and you want to go straight into that and get the experience that you that you need, uh, going to a technical school is just going to put you on the fast track to doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, if you aren't really sure, you can take your core classes and take some time to kind of figure it out. Um, I know for me, I knew what I wanted to do and I just didn't want to waste four years taking extra classes here and there that didn't really have anything to do with what I was going to do. Gonna do. Mm -hmm. And um, I know so many people that graduate that have gone to universities and they have a degree in their hand and then they go out there and they're like, oh, I don't really like this. I don't really enjoy doing this, but I don't have to worry about that because I do it every day. Yeah. So I know that I'm going to enjoy it. I, don't have to, I have the relief of knowing that I'll enjoy my job. Because you do it. Because I do it every day. And you're, you're going to be very well equipped. Your training is going to be very, very complete. Because once you go out, you've got the, the foundation so that if it's something that you haven't been taught or seen do, you will have enough knowledge and enough skills and enough practice right. to know what to take on and what, how to handle it well-rounded program definitely definitely um so when you decide tell me a little bit about radiology you start do you have a lot did you have lecture classes or we started with the positioning uh -huh. for the different exams i mean you have you have to go through a whole book of nothing but exams that you have to know how to perform mm -hmm. on every part of the body so uh, we did that the first semester, and we spent a little bit more time in the classroom right at first. Mm -hmm. But that first semester, we started going out there into the clinic sites. And uh, that's when it really all sort of comes together for you. Mm -hmm. Because what you're learning in the textbook and you're taking tests on, you're also doing it and putting your hands on it. And that was the, the easiest part for me was the procedures and the positioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the physics of radiation that you get into your second semester was a little bit more challenging. I mean, that's science. <laughs> it is. It's heavy, heavy duty science. And if you don't have a background in physics, it's, it can be a little challenging. I bet. I bet that's over my head auto automatically. <laughs> but we have great instructors. We do. We do. Miss Barbie does a really good job of breaking it down for you mm -hmm. and making it make sense. Mm -hmm. And she knows enough to kind of weed out all the stuff that is so overly technical you know she really pulls forward the stuff that is going to make more sense to right. you and is actually relevant to what you're and you can doing. apply it and you can apply it see that to me over and over again I hear talking about my different programs that we're offering the application is where you learn I mean you can hear and you can see and you can read and you can go through the the subject matter over and over and over again, but until you actually apply those theories and those and see it up close, you really don't learn. Right. You can't remember. That's what 
makes technical school so wonderful because you do have that hands-on experience right. in whatever you're doing. You have to have a certain number of competencies that you have to perform that your technologist that you're working under checks you off on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to you have to do it. Right, right. And there are methods. There are mm -hmm. good methods and there are wrong methods. And right. you've got to make sure you're doing it the right way. Mm -hmm. And then when you're dealing with the radiology and I guess the, you know, x-rays and things like that, you have, that's a safety issue there, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, you've got to make sure you've got your covers and you're protected from the, from the x-rays, I guess. So that's a whole other area that you have to learn about. Right. And the biggest thing is that you're giving the patient a dose of radiation. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know what you're doing, if you haven't had any kind of formal education, you could be giving them way more radiation than they really need. Right. So that's all part of the training to get right. you prepared. Mm -hmm. All right, do you have like a final exam or some type of licensing program that you go through? Well, we, we get registered. Mm -hmm. And when we take the test, or, or our boards or what mm -hmm. have you, um, that means that you are a registered radiologic technologist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a big deal when you graduate. You can choose to go do that. Did, and it's, is it a test or is it's it? It's a test. It's um, a very long test, a very uh, hard test. Uh -huh. And um, you have to pay to take it. Uh -huh. But it, of course, pays for itself. Mm. Absolutely. When, when that patient sees that you have that R behind your mm -hmm. RT, mm -hmm. that means that you cared enough to go get registered. And you are have been identified as a licensed, mm -hmm. you've met that extra criteria. criteria. Well, so you think that you're going to want to work at a doctor's office or do you want to work at a hospital or? I would like to work maybe at one of the outpatient imaging places that they have so many of now. They're more like clinics, outpatient mm -hmm. <coughs> type of situation. Um, but really, when I graduate, I would like to go straight in to do a mammography. Mm -hmm. I really want to work on getting specialized in that. And West Georgia Tech has we offer a that, don't mammography we? program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would take another year? It would take just one more semester. One more semester. So, mm -hmm. so that would basically two years in a semester, and you'll be done, right? Mm -hmm. So that that's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a long time to, if you're just getting started out, but it's not once you're. It flies the, by. It really does. So you're about done with the radiology portion then. I'm in my last semester. Okay. I'll graduate in May, and then you'll start up in the mammon. Will it be fall? Well, um, it depends on when they offer it. Mm -hmm. Usually, Miss Carla offers it. Um, the spring semester. So you might have to wait till so the next to spring. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'll be working, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, and so you'll have experience that will make it easier to get in, you know, mm -hmm. be involved in that. Yes, I definitely think you'll be working. Of course, you know, after you win the gold award for the state and you're going to be going all over the state talking about how wonderful technical <laughs> education is, you'll be busy doing that. That's but right. but you're going to be great. I'm very proud of you. And Thank I think you. that you're You've, you've got what it takes to win. Well, I had you. heard that, but now I'm sure of it. <laughs> I am sure of it. Well, um, all right, we're gonna, we've been recruiting, if we had to. Um, what are you going to do to prepare for the next level? For the goal? For the goal. Mm -hmm. I have been practicing my speech in front of as many people as I can. Uh -huh. How long does it last? It's a three-minute speech. You want to give it to us now? Oh, well, we'll say that for another time. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then they ask you, really the hardest part is they ask you interview questions, mm -hmm. and you really don't know what they're going to ask you. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of look over some of the questions they've sent me and well, try what about to prepare. They, they're probably going to ask you specifics about technical education mm -hmm. and, like, you know, scholarships and and financial aid pro and instructional things and rules and policies. Mm -hmm. So you've, that's a lot of stuff to have to know. It's a lot. It's a, it's a lot of stuff, but it's very enjoyable. One thing that I bet I'm sure they'll ask you about is economic development. Have you started going <laughs> into that area? I have tried. They've asked me different things about, um, you know, the technology and 
and how it's ever changing and different things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we've talked a little bit about that. Well, technical education is a vital part of economic development. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we provide the workforce, mm -hmm. and if we don't stay on top of things and one step ahead at the technical college, then we're not doing our job. Right. And it's very important, but we also have lots of good input from our advisors and our partners to make sure that we're, we have what we need and what they're going to need for their workforce to have. Mm -hmm. And then now, of course, we're getting into the dual enrollment, so it's really exciting because somebody's going to be in high school and getting college credit. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they might go into radiology and then so they'll get their core out of the way in high school and they'll just have another year, year and a half to go and they'll be ready to be at your point. That's, so a, that's wonderful. It's exciting. It it's is. It's very exciting. And basically with the Think Academy, it's like tuition is free. Mm -hmm. They won't have to pay anything. So, I mean, I hope people don't take advantage of it because a lot of times people think, okay, if it's free, you know, you get what you pay for kind of thing. Mm -hmm. but. Not in this case. Mm -hmm. We are going, we offer the best. We really do. We've got the high level instructors for it. Very so. much so. Very much. And they, they've been there, done that, and they can tell you what not to do and what to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why I like being a part of it all. Mm -hmm. Well, you have been a wonderful guest. Thank you, you so too. much for joining us. And promise me, after you win the big prizes and <laughs> drive the new car off, You'll come back and talk to us and tell us about your experiences there. I sure there. will. Thank you. Good luck. And again, I'm very proud of you. And I'm glad you go to school with us because it sounds like to me we're doing something right. That's right. We really do love it. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us, you. Ashley. And plan on coming back, okay? I will. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you the next episode of Tech Savvy. I graduated from Troop High School, I took one year off, and now I'm taking some core classes at West Georgia Technical College. I'm taking some traditional classes at the college and I'm also taking some hybrid classes online. I go to the library after class and study and also study at home. I plan to finish my core classes at West Georgia Technical College and then transfer to a four-year college. It's convenient taking online classes because if I have a question I can email my teachers and also I can take my quizzes while I'm on my break at work. I'm currently enrolled in Business Administrative Technology and I have my Bachelor's in Math. I work in the Adult Education Department at West Georgia Technical College. I usually study in my office after work, in the library, or at home, and a lot of times I use my laptop and my iPad for studying. I plan to graduate by next summer at the end of July. Oh, I would love to have any type of job in an office setting, anything where I can work directly with people who are seeking any type of information. I participated in the first ever study abroad program for, for West Georgia Technical College and we went to Ireland where we traveled from Dublin to Belfast. The best part of online learning is that if you have a laptop, you can take school with you wherever you go.